I feel like every time I start a vlog and I'm in the kitchen, we're about to make sansa. Like literally, I feel like every time I've come on the vlog, I'm just making sansa. So today I'm making a uh, gango. Um, that's meat mixed with your vegetables. So I'm making gango and I'm making my gango with pork. And we barely eat pork in this house now since uh, my husband has become very, very health conscious. We barely eat, um, we barely eat uh, pork, but I asked him to get us pork last week and I have a little bit of a leftover. So I'm just going to do a traditional Zimbabwean gango and I want to get it out of the way before it gets dark so that I can actually show you guys. But yeah, today, today is actually a Wednesday. My last vlog on the last, on the last day, I said it was a Wednesday, but it was actually Tuesday. I, I guess I was wrong or oh, <laughs> I'm moving my dates too fast but yeah today is actually a Wednesday and I'm about to get started on dinner it's after five let me actually check the time right now it's 17 25 so yeah I'm about to get started on dinner and I'll just show you guys so don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the post notification box so that you notify each and every time I upload a new video thank you guys very much for your support we're on our way to 3k subscribers uh, let's keep sharing let's keep uh, commenting and liking guys liking can do so much for my video and yeah guys let's just get straight into cooking so i actually forgot to tell you guys something so usually when i'm cooking most times my helper will chop up everything so she's really chopped up the onions the tomatoes all i need to do is chop up the pork in the certain way that i want so like if i feel like i have to over explain i'll just do it myself so that i don't put stress on her part then she just feels like like no needs i don't want her to feel like that so if i feel like okay i have to over explain i'll just do it myself i know someone commented that what happened to to the main so yeah that's just how i i, I just do my things i just don't like over explaining or or having to say no 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 this is wrong i don't want to feel like i've if i haven't taught her i don't want her to feel like i'm overwhelming her i hope that makes sense so typically if i feel like uh it's one of those i'll just do it myself and guys where can i get a chopping board that doesn't rip on the sides i honestly don't know please let me know where i can get a chopping board <clears throat> that doesn't like bulk inside when it's it's when it touches water but yeah, i'm just going to start chopping the pork and then i'll just take you i'm trying to do this before it gets too dark and i know sadza guys we cook sadza the same way so i wouldn't be bothered if it got dark before i make a sadza because i know you guys know how to make sadza or maybe i'll find one of those days but i can never make sadza before it's like when it's too early and baba zoe said he would get me a, a round to square adapter tomorrow hopefully so that i can film with my ring light in the kitchen so that it's just more clear especially when i'm doing those night videos but yeah too much rambling let's get to cooking take me back to a place where i felt at home take me back to a day when we weren't alone take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of them all From people dropping a bomb To people putting up walls I feel like life is on haul Perception stuck in a vault I know that time can heal all But how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside When there's no shelter to hide When everything is a lie You'll find that out in some time But when the things on your mind Are all considered a crime Communication aside We'll all just fight till we die Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Either way I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces Fixing scars from this Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? I wanna drive away So I can be so far from it I wanna find a place where no one breaks their promises Or maybe drown myself in something that is bottomless Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small 
Way back, let's go. Let me do it all. I know that things seem bad, but they could be much worse. There's always someone else who has a greater curse. A greater thirst, a hunger, pain, and burst Just find whatever you got and try to be thankful first I wanna feel again, I need a couple friends I never really understood just how the story ends But I could feel it's tense, don't know the consequence The volatility of life, my only confidence Is this an argument, or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces, fixing scars from this Is this an argument, or just the start of it? I wanna drive away so I can be so far from it I wanna find a place where no one breaks their promises Or maybe drown myself in something that is bottomless Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on Keep track of them all From people dropping a bomb To people putting up walls I feel like life is on haul Perception stuck in a vault I know that time can heal all But how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside When there's no shelter to hide When everything is a lie You'll find that out in some time But when the things on your mind Are all considered a crime Communication aside We'll all just fight till we die Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Either way I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces Fixing scars from this Is this an argument Or just the start of it I wanna drive away Hey guys So I just finished washing my hair And I don't even know people who do Deep treatments with locks on Do it because These locks are so heavy I actually use the Anti Jackie Also clean moisturizing And softening shampoo this one is the one that I used and I did them in deep condition. I just washed my hair and I got out of the shower. I also took a shower, a uh, shower bath, whatever. And my skin is breaking out. As you guys can see, it's breaking out like crazy. I don't even know what's going on. Can you guys see all that redness? That's breakouts. And they're actually active. They're actually a bit painful in this side as well. So I don't know what, what that's about. So I want to lightly blow dry my hair because it's after 9 p.m. So obviously I can't let my hair oops sorry I can't let my hair all the way air dry. I would have to blow dry it a little bit and I also have to refresh refresh my locks. So that's what I'm going to do. I wanted to relax my edges. <laughs> I know I said I wouldn't in one of my vlogs, but I was just thinking like I could actually um I could actually, what's it called, relax my edges, but I can't find my relaxer. That doesn't even make sense at all. Because I bought a relaxer to relax my edges. Probably one of these days I'll, let me zoom out so much. Probably one of these days I'll bump into it. But yeah, these are my locks. They still look pretty new. I just felt like one that was pulled all the way back when I washed my hair that I really, really need to refresh. But like this one, this is the one, like the lock just came all the way out. But then it's actually very, very simple to to refresh that lock. As you guys can see, this is where the lock is starting from. So I'm just going to wrap it all the way back up so that it wraps uh, back to the start. And then uh, in terms of the curls, guys, I'll probably just put new curls and then like just put them whilst I've conditioned them. So I'll condition the hair first, then I'll put the like I'll put the curls back. So I'm just I'm just uh, fixing this lock 
that sort of like detached from the I think this is the only one that I felt if there are any other I'll probably find them as you guys can see the curls are basically damaged but I mean I don't have time to take them out I'll just put new ones and this one also unraveled so there's quite a number that unraveled or you can just crochet new hair on the bottom and then like but all the other ones feel pretty sturdy let me try find where this one is going like the braid um, because yeah so I found the braid so I'm just going to wrap it back up to the start of the of the lock so that I don't have to crochet new hair and do it that way but yeah so basically that's just how I'm refreshing those locks so I'm going to blow dry my hair but I'm not going to let it dry dry I'll just chill with herbs uh, then to probably dry tomorrow but I'm just going to try blow dry the ends as much as I can as much as I can so that like the water doesn't run in our blankets okay this one pulled a little bit so quite a number of them pulled a little bit like quite a number of the locks like this one feels like it pulled as well I hope my boob is not if my boob came out I'll cut that when I'm editing um I have to find where this uh, this lock is going so that I tighten it at the root. Guys, this is such an easy hairstyle. I've been feeling like taking off these locks, but then I'm just so lazy. I just can't deal having to do my hair again and having to spend hours just doing my hair. I think that's the only thing that's making me keep those locks in. But yeah, let me blow dry the ends and then you guys can just watch. And then guys, lighting makes such a difference if you're filming at night because it's after 9 p.m. But I can actually film at night because of lighting. I got Tandy Gum always says lighting makes such a difference. But yeah, if you don't have lighting, it's okay. But if you do, like I do, probably I should just put more effort. Like you guys, I told you at the start of the vlog that my husband said he would get me a new, uh, a new uh, adapter so that I can put my lighting in the kitchen as well when I'm cooking. Ah, guys, these breakouts, I don't even know what to do about them i'm just going to let them be honestly especially this one uh, honestly like they just look like scabs but i'm just going to let them be until they are ready so yeah let me blow dry my hair guys Okay guys, so today I'm definitely keeping it simple with my uh, hair treatment. I'm just going to put this Vida uh, Natural Coconut Oil Hair Conditioner. It's a, it's like a petroleum jelly uh, for hair. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, put, I'm going to oil my hair with this. Keeping it very, very simple. And then I'll just blow dry the, the coconut oil into my hair into my scalp because i'm about to go to bed so i don't want the i don't want the oil going all over my bed sheets and all that so to prevent that you just blow dry it after you've oiled your hair just slightly blow dry it and then and then you're kind of like good to go so yeah i should have started from the back let me start from the back to just make my life easier but my braids are nowhere near dry honestly i don't know if you guys can see the speckles of the speckles of water they are definitely nowhere near dry but there's just no way like I'm just going to focus on my scalp being dry and like I'm like cuz like if, if I don't dry them at all like they're gonna smell and that's the whole point why we just wash them it's because my hair had been smelling I've had these locked on for like uh, maybe 13 12 13 days and like I just couldn't handle the itch anymore so because I still want to keep them in for a bit longer I decided to wash them. I mean, you guys should still wash your hair. Like, even if you have braids. I think you guys know that I wash my hair. Like, even in braids. Even in cornrows. You should definitely wash your hair. Okay, Zoe and her dad. You should definitely wash your hair to just keep it clean. Because, like, hair smells, to be honest, guys. Like, try to wash your hair every two weeks. And then if you can't, like, let's say you have a busy schedule. Like, you're going to work. Maybe try to get a dry shampoo. Because that helps quite a lot. Because you don't want to be... Like walking around people and smelling so I'm going to put um, I'm going to put uh, what's it called a uh, conditioning lotion tomorrow on the hair so that it just has sort of like a nice scent but I'll do that tomorrow 
when the hair is dry. Today I'll just focus on my scalp and then tomorrow I'll focus on nourishing the smell of my braids and the braids themselves and I'm going to put in new curls uh, because I like the bohemian look so I'm going to put in the new curls uh, probably not tomorrow um, but very soon because I want to keep I want to keep this hairstyle as long as I can maybe if I can almost through September this is just going to be my birthday hairstyle guys. okay guys so I'm practically done with my hair the rest of it I'll deal with it tomorrow guys did I tell you we have a toddler who's full walking now <laughs> we have trouble in the house she's just coming to me we have so much trouble in the house now yay Zoe so we literally she walks now so I'm just going to tie my hair go chill with hubs hubs please come say hi to my vlog it doesn't matter just come say hi to my vlog hi <laughs> thank you for coming to say hi to my vlog he's been with Zoe and Zoe is now a bit it's now a bit iffy but yeah let me go tie my hair and I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. Hopefully my acne will improve by the time I wake up. Baby, did you see that I'm breaking out? Thank you. I don't even know what's going on. So yes. Thank you. I used to use it somewhat. Yep. Same water, same everything. I've not changed anything. So yeah, let me tie my hair somehow. <laughs> Someone say, Zoe, go back to daddy. Zoe, daddy, daddy, walk to daddy. Uh. <laughs> Okay, guys, let me go tie my hair and I'll catch you tomorrow. Babe, what would it is? What would it is? What would it is? Not Zoe. Fine. Mama. Yeah, I'll just tie my hair like that. Go chill with the herbs. Get into my PJs and I'll catch you. Bye. Hey, guys. So today it's actually a Sunday and I'm standing in the middle of a very messy room but I'm about to tidy it up because I want to clean so but then it's kind of like late in the afternoon I left this cleaning to late in the afternoon because Sunday is like my self care day so I really take time to you know bath, shave, scrub all that as you guys can see I'm looking so glowy and as you guys can also see my acne that I showed you from like that was two days ago it's actually starting to calm down so I think it's these masks that I bought for my face these cure masks so I'm just going to stop using them because um yeah I think they were breaking me out but look at how glowy I look guys I'm wearing this very old dress. Please don't mind the mess in my room, guys. If you mind it, I'm not going to show you. But this is the outfit for today. This is the outfit that I'm rocking today. It's this dress. Super obsessed with it. I'm still obsessed with it. Guys, one thing about me, I'll wear my clothes 10,000 times. I'm still very much uh, obsessed with this. With this dress. Like I said, I'm about to clean up, so I'll just clean up. And guys, I know you guys probably thought that I was lying, but... Remember when I told you guys to get your nails done? And I was saying that I'm gonna do a gel polish. Can you please focus? Look at this little... Wait, I, I wanted to focus that you guys can see. Let me do this. I want you guys to see this design. It's so cute. It's like purple with... um. Okay, let me move out of the frame. So it's purple with uh, little flowers. I wish it could focus so that I could show you the design. But if it doesn't want to focus, I'll insert a photo. I'll insert a photo um, somewhere on the screen. But yeah, it's basically a purple with um, with yellow flowers. I really wish you guys could see. So there's yeah, like a flower on each. Um, yeah, you guys can all see. So yeah, it's purple with those little cute flowers like on every finger. And then I got a matching uh, a matching tour set. So this is very convenient for me who like uh, does people's hair. And the lady who did my nails told me that um, a gel gel nail poli gel nail polish and and what's it called and detergent uh, are not best friends. So we'll see how long this lasts. I hope it lasts a while. I hope if it can last me two weeks, I'll be very very happy. I really hope that it can last me like two weeks and above and that would make me very very happy but yeah these are my nails guys and I got a matching toe set like I said can I show you Yo, I can't have. but yeah I'll insert a photo I have matching toes so guys today it's a Monday no it's a Sunday what am I saying today it's a Sunday and on Tuesday it's my birthday guys I'm super super excited I'm turning 27 super blessed feeling super blessed feeling super excited yeah I need to do something about these edges but the locks really look good 
I watched them in this vlog. I watched them in this vlog and they look really really good. They still look relatively new. Though I've had them for like quite a while. But yeah, I'm super super excited guys. I I shopped some pieces um that I'll probably show you once I get the rest of them, then I can do a proper styling video, then I can show you. I also want to get a rack uh, for fashion videos because it just does the aesthetics very well. I want to work on my aesthetics. Like I said, I want to buy a microphone. My friend gifted me money for that, so I just have to go to uh, World Remit to go and collect it uh, to buy a microphone so that I'm more audible and I don't have to raise my voice and sound like I'm crazy to my neighbors. And then I want to... Um, so the microphone and then I want to buy the clothing rack so that like the aesthetics for my videos just looks really really nice <clears throat> and you guys know that I got a ring light so like lighting will now just be you know looking really good but yeah that's the update today uh, on the Sunday so he's sleeping she's been sleeping guys yesterday I slept at 4 a.m. because this girl just wanted to play so her dad took her around to one and then i couldn't because i wanted to sleep and she was awake zoe usually pokes me so i was like okay i'll just sleep in the lounge for a little bit and then the next thing i woke up it was 4 a.m and then i came back to bed and then she kind of like woke up a little bit and then she slept so that's when like so around 4 a.m that's when i really had a proper proper deep sleep and I had clients at nine o'clock like around 9 a.m which was so tough for me to wake up and then yeah I'm now rambling guys but yeah i'm very grateful that my business is doing really well like i said in my last video i'm in my finance corner video i'm really really grateful and guys i'm getting closer to buying my dream phone which is super amazing i'm super excited i'm hoping that on the 7th when the iphone 14 drops the phone will drop in price then i can afford it which would be crazy and i just want to say thank you to everyone who has ever gotten a wig a weave an install uh makeup you guys have really like really really helped me to you know and everyone who's also watched my ads on youtube you guys have really helped me to you know get myself a little gift for my birthday Ay, and i'm super excited about it but yeah guys let me tidy up this mess it's really embarrassing if i'm being honest i need to change out the sheets the pillowcases so it's a lot so let me fix this and then i'll catch you guys tomorrow bye okay guys so it's a bit later on i'm just relaxing i was um updating my sales for for september yeah, i just have three sales for september so that's what i was doing and guys i wanted to tell you do you remember those pins that i was telling you about the ones that i was extremely happy about these ones the ones with colors they're a scam they're a scam they're just basically like colored outside and they're basically all blue paint so like this one day i was trying to write and i'm like okay now let me use those paints and then i go down to jot down because i want to write like september income and expenses then i go down to jot down and it's literally a blue paint that i'm like okay this is a scam so please guys don't get them <laughs> they're just all blue paints with just a uh, colored outing um so yeah it's a bit later on electricity has gone so i need to go and uh, I need to figure out. I wanted to take a nap first, then I'll go cook. Because then I'll have a four plate stove. But now I don't have a four plate stove because this is gone. I'm just left with a one plate stove. So I don't even know. Like, uh, I really want, I really need to take a nap. Today I had, I, ha I was finishing off, uh, I had like my neighbor's daughter, I was finishing off her hair that I started last night. So I was finishing it off. Then I had a, a wig install that I did. So I'm just extremely, extremely exhausted. And then I have two wigs to wash. That I hope I'll be done by tomorrow and go deliver. And then, uh, yeah, so it's a lot. I, re I really just need a break, like, to just take a nap. And then, you know, in fact, I need a holiday. <laughs> That's what I need. Um, but, yeah, guys, uh, I'm glad that uh, people were commenting on my last video that they're actually writing down their their sales and expenses it's very very important if you want to track like even like your spending like even like with my household i've sort of like okay known how much we need per month because like if baba's always like okay how much do you need for groceries i can easily pick that okay i need this much because i've sort of like tracked my expenses over the like over a very long time and now i kind of know like what we need for groceries what we need for meat like how much meat we need i, I kind of like have that on lock now so like um yeah it's very important to track your expenses that uh, that way you always like know okay i need this much we kind of like spend this much because i already know like how much we kind of spend per month 
and then like the other things and we also the thing that we do is we also incorporate like whenever we're budgeting we also incorporate eating out because we try to eat out at least once a week not like eat out like always sit in like the restaurant or whatnot no like um even if it means like getting chicken in or getting pizza or getting you know like that kind of thing we can't just eating out yeah so we always like incorporate it into our budget whenever we're doing our budgets now we don't really sit down like we used to and write okay we need like let's say for example because we'd say like ten dollars a week for eating out like we can buy a pizza and then like the four of us can all share like that's us our helper and our baby we can all be good and maybe a two liter coke we can have that friday night count it as eating out you know or we can go or like if we're feeling lazy we can go buy like um there are those like uh sadzas that or like usually we have like i like this t-bone and chips from this place in mandava like it costs like 350 so like 350 by three by two that's usually myself and my helper then babazo usually likes to get sadza because we barely have sadza here and then he'll buy that and then like that's cool like all of us then we just have juice at home so that's eating out so like we'll know that okay to eat out for the four of us we just need like ten dollars a week and we're good so like for the whole month we know that we need forty dollars to eat out does that make sense i think it's very important uh for us to plan for those things like eating out especially because i'm always at home i'm always cooking always working always and like usually i'm always extremely tired so i think it's very important for us to incorporate that and we've been incorporating so that like i get some time to rest uh like where I don't have to cook, where I just relax. I know that tonight I'm not cooking. And we usually we usually do that like on the weekends. So usually uh Friday usually uh, usually Fridays or Thursdays sometimes. But I usually like to do the eat out thing when we when he doesn't need a lunchbox for work. So yeah guys, um you guys can also do that like with your families. Uh even like if I was, if, I'm sure if I was in Harare, we'd just do probably like hot dogs sometimes. That would kind of like eating out, right? Like a dollar hot dog and a 50 cent drink. And that's a dollar 50. You can t do that for lunch and count it as eating out. So eating out doesn't always mean the extravagant like restaurant, like go to, go to, um, or go to Rokomamas or go to Kingfisher. No, Kingfisher is actually cheap. But I'm saying it doesn't always mean that you have to go to really expensive places. You can always uh, incorporate, you know, your cheap b bits and always make your life fun and your day fun so yeah that's just like my little finance corner i don't know if we're going to have a financial corner in every vlog tell me down below if you want a financial corner in every vlog and i'll definitely be giving a financial tip though i'm one of the worst spenders i can definitely give you a financial tip in every video if you guys would want that hey guys so it's actually the next morning it's a Monday today and tomorrow is my birthday. Yo, don't. I just wanted to say that um, a lot of people think that when you spend your time at home, you'll be doing nothing. And the fact that we vlog, we're just vlogging because we don't have nothing to do or we have so much extra time that, you know, we just pick up the camera and just do nothing. It's actually a lot of work. Uh, being a housewife is actually a lot of work, guys. It's so tough. Like, you barely rest, especially, like, if you're a full-time stay at home mom like being a mom alone whether you go to work or you don't is like having two full-time jobs so add home chores at that and like you'll find that home chores are a bit manual than like when you have to use the brain so they like they work on your body though like sometimes like when you're in the office like you could be sitting for so long like i worked in an accounting department you could be sitting for so long that your back would hurt and things like that but when you're at home guys it's a whole lot i think you guys will realize that even when you're at home and you're like i need to rest there's always that one other thing that needs to be done so like my husband always used to say like ah why don't you sleep i'm like babe i can't sleep because i have one two three and he would never understand i'm like i can't sleep because i have to do this i have to do this then i'm also running a business at home which takes up so much of my time so like yeah being a housewife it's a lot it's a lot and people think that it's nothing it's really a lot you really have a lot of work to do like now i need to clean my bedroom and then i have two weeks to wash that's me running my business at home my my business is a manual labor business I'm not complaining i love it and then after that today i told myself that i'll do some self-care i'll go visit my friend so definitely i'll go visit my friend in the afternoon but probably that'll be like two around two three i need to come back home and because i cook supper every single day because I just I just like cooking for my husband and he also just prefers my food. It means when I come back, I can't sit. I'm going to have to, you know, I'm, go I'm going to be out of the house probably for an hour. Then maybe run some errands on my way back. Come back, cook. 
and then now I have to like do other things like and then probably finish off those wigs so you find that like today my day is a bit chill it's a bit relaxed not much work to do but sometimes like when I'm doing my thorough clean in my bedroom that will take me like two three hours then shower shower uh, shower myself and Zoe then from that I'm doing my wigs from that I'm cooking probably uh, if auntie has a lot of work to do I'll cook breakfast if she doesn't then she'll cook breakfast then I'll cook then um then you know I'll chill for a bit maybe you should like get an hour or two per day to chill and then after that I've already picked up something else that needs to be done around the house and the funny thing with staying at home you always pick up something like you think okay it's fine then some like one thing will just bother you that you feel like you need to clean up so yeah that's that's basically like being a housewife is actually a, a lot than people think or make it to be because I, I saw this tiktok that was saying when my husband marries me but i'm still going to work i think some people are actually better off going to work than being a housewife because it's so hard sometimes but yeah um i'm also just going to end the vlog here so that i can start vlogging for my birthday my birthday is tomorrow so i'll definitely end this vlog here thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the post notification bell so that you're notified each and every time i upload a new video guys and also go check out your faves videos please check out shaker colette channel check out dr zanit inika check out akeli mataure check out nor Lor yo no lorraine check out um these are some of our um zim faves check out who else who else who else i'll put all the channels down in the description box and on the screen so that you guys can do check them out but yeah thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video guys bye